What's up everybody? Welcome back to Unlocking Grim Procession. Today we should be taking on Nephrox. Uh, it's been a while since I played last, so yeah, yeah, that's right. We took on Jace. I think that went pretty well. Unlocked a new shiny card. Cost like 10,000 mana. Uh, all in all, a pretty eventful day. Um, so, I don't know, I've been seeing this deck online a lot, like, this is the new metagame, is this deck. So I'm actually not too excited to be playing it anymore, um, just because it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's kind of getting old on me already. I mean, I play Standard Black, that, uh, that's pretty much my, my deck of choice, and, uh, this and, well, they have another one of those stupid changelings in the other, in the other decks, but, uh. I don't know. This one's just getting old. It's getting old facing the same decks over and over. Uh, what do you say we go ahead and get rid of one of Nephrox's cards? I think that'd be a great idea. That's a great turn, too. That's amazing. That's, it's pretty good to have uh, at any point in the game, but it is a fantastic turn, too. Uh, let's see what we got here. Cathedral of War. He's got a lot of dudes to play, but I can't really stop that from happening. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of Divinity. Go ahead and just exile that. Poof! Where'd it go? No one knows. Uh, a lot of people have been asking me to take the decks online. I don't know when these will air because, like, I, I have to... That's that's the other thing, you guys. I mean, I have to record these way, way, way far in advance of... Uh, this guy's not doing anything useful at all with his life. He's setting up shop, but he's just like... Two Cathedrals of War don't win you the game. That one is shiny, though. Um, I have to record these really far in advance, um, because of just work and everything like that. It's kind of hard to find time to record. Not to mention the fact that I'm working on really old equipment, um, so rendering and everything takes, like, two hours. Like, the whole upload process is, like, two and a half hours per episode. Son of a bitch. Um, we're doing work, though. He's got, oh, man, did he not get the mana he needed to play his friggin' cards? That's hilarious. Uh, we'll go ahead and we're probably just gonna do that at end step. But it is just about three hours to uh, to get these all finished and uh, and up for you guys. Which I mean, it isn't a big deal, but it just takes it takes a lot of time. If I had a nicer computer, we'd be uh, in a better scenario. Wish I had Vindy. Vindicate. Uh, that's that's not good. It's not good. I mean, I can get rid of uh, whatever he tries to do it to in response, but still, that means that I can't really play anything. What does it cost to equip two? Whoa, whoa, let me get over there. Hold on. Yeah, it does cost two to equip. I don't know if that guy's going to stick in. Um, God, there's been so much debtor's knell being played out of this deck. What the fuck just happened? Did I not attack? That seemed like bullshit to me. I don't really know what, what just went on. Uh, but whatever. I'm still gonna win. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Just makes me really, really sad. Go ahead and equip it. Nice. No, he's playing, he's playing a bunch of dudes now. Dudes and men. Yep. Nope. And go ahead and, uh, go away. I'm still gonna win this. I don't know what the hell happened there. I think I just got caught up in the moment. Started clicking buttons. Clicking all sorts of buttons. Continue. Move to combat. Attack. There we go. That's better. That's more how uh, that should go. I think I was looking at this guy talking about him. I don't know. I don't know. He's seven mana, so I doubt he stays in. There's some really big fat creatures in, uh, in these decks. I don't really know how I want to run this deck. I've seen a couple of different builds. I've played up against a couple of different builds. I just don't know how I want to go about doing it yet. You know, which is another reason why I like playing and unlocking all the cards without, you know, buying the unlocks or whatever. So you can really get a feel for the deck, see how you want to run it. Because sometimes there is, sometimes there's one, like, good way to run a deck. But I think a lot of times, um, there are a couple different ideas that you could go with a deck. Especially a deck like this, uh, dual color. Um, the best example I can come up with uh, right off the top of my head would be the green white that they just came out with in the last pack um, the Selesnia pile because that thing man you, you could come up with all sorts of different ways to play that deck so this is a really interesting one to have around 
That's five. I'm still kind of in trouble. Um, cause Nighthawk's not really doing enough here. Well, I don't know. He's only got one card in hand. Doomblade isn't great for him, so I don't know. I wish I hadn't passed that attack step. That was real weird. Maybe I didn't even do it. Like, did I not even pass an attack step? Am I just, like, really confused? That is five. That's going to be enough to kill him, so we'll have to block. He's going to do probably six damage to me. Yeah, we'll go ahead and lay this. I mean, I was thinking about the life gain, but I don't really care. Flying lifelinks pretty good, but that guy, I don't know, that guy just costs too much. I kind of want to run this slimmed down. I mean, I don't want to put in Debtor's Knoll, but Nell, but, uh, because, like, every, I don't know, but, like, everyone's playing that card. It does work when you lay it, and this, this deck theoretically gets you to late game. I'm just, uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about it. Um, anyway, bottom line, uh, back to just, you know, updates and stuff about what's going on here. Uh, I'll probably be taking some decks online, just be playing online a lot more recently, since, I mean, a lot of you guys want to see it, and I don't have a problem doing it if I can kick ass, so. I don't really care. What's he got for me? He's got to have something. Yeah, why not? Get the extra card, that could be all the difference. Not really. What do I have in there? Nothing? I don't have any creatures in there, do I? Damn. Um... Oh, wait a minute, can I just damage us both? What's he gonna do here? We'll have to see what he does here. This gonna be this this could be interesting. This could be very interesting. I don't think he can kill me. But we'll find out, I suppose. Alright, he goes to two. Can I do that twice? Yeah, okay. That'll work for me. Yep. And yeah again. Alright, that is game. That is a Stevens as well. It's a mutual destru assured mutual destruction, Stevens, right there. All right, not bad. Oh, that is a good card. That card does things. It's got tricks. Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, I know Debtor's Null is good. It's just so late game. But, like, this deck, like, every time I play against it, I have to play around it. I have to, like, worry about it constantly. It's a bitch. It's, it's, a, it's a good card. Maybe I'll run one of them. I don't know. Just to like, just to like, be in the deck. Oh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. That green red's just a pain in the ass, though, because every once in a while you'll get that changeling played on you. And I, like I said, I run, I run the mono black. It's not uh, not easy to get rid of that guy. You can. I mean, there's lots of tricks in the mono black that can get rid of that card. Yeah, I don't think I want that guy. I don't think I put Debtor's Nell back in either, though, to be honest with you. I really don't. I really don't have a problem with any of the cards that I've taken out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and take this guy out. Keep it looking like this, I think. I like this. I like, maybe a little too removal heavy. But, uh, I don't know, I don't really mind it. I don't think it's terrible. Let's keep going. Let's keep going all day. Uh, thanks for watching, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode, uh, even if I missed that attack step. Weird. Weird. It's hard to enjoy. It's hard to enjoy when the person you're watching is playing that badly. But uh, thanks a lot for watching, you guys. I will see you on the next one.